I got there around two o'clock and I started hiking down there and it was all sunny. The it was because it was all like it was sunny and dry, so it was all right. It wasn't as rough until later on. But then we started swimming in the hole. fun but then like we were just having some laughs because some people were doing like front flips and like just it was, it was just a fun day. We noticed some thunder and that's when we knew like it was gonna rain so we wanted to get out of there as fast as we could and going up the stream it was the flash flooding started and the waters were getting strong so Xavier and Elijah kind of cross to the other side before everyone else. You and Xavier were first to head out, right? Yeah. Now tell me, tell me what happened. So when we heard the thunder, uh, TJ was like, oh, I don't want to swim no more because thunder means lightning. So we all grabbed our bags and we're heading back. Then it started to rain like a little bit. And then me and uh, Xavier were ahead because we left when everyone else was getting their bags. And then when we were going up more, we had, there was this path where we had to cross the river so we were going through there and then when we got to the point where we had to cross the river, everyone else was still behind us. Uh, as we were crossing halfway, the water rose. So we got swept under our feet and we got kind of dragged down a little bit. But then Xavier grabbed onto me and then I grabbed onto a tree. Then I pulled us out. And then from there, we went up more trying to get high uh, up the uh, mountain because the water was rising. And then from there, we, the land, the, cause it was like mud. So the, had like kind of a landslide. So we fell down. So he fell in first and then I fell in and then he got swept down and then I grabbed the tree, the same thing. And then I got pulled up. Then I started, cause we, we walked up more and then I started walking back cause I was by myself. So I was walking back to where, like toward them. That's when I saw them. And then they said, did you see X? So there was a, a mudslide that got slippery and he slipped and fell back into the water. Yeah, as we were trying to get higher. And we saw, um, we were waiting because Lila and X were on the other side. And we saw Xavier pass by yelling help and then he went under and that was the last we saw. That's probably the hardest thing to swallow. That it's like a sense of helplessness. We can't help our brother. Yeah, we want, a couple of us tried to jump in, but endangering all of our lives is worse. So we really couldn't do anything until it was safe for us to get out, and we did our best. We did the best we could. It just kind of sucked, I guess, knowing that you can't do anything. But we, we like, assessed the problem and thought that it's best that we just try to get help first. But that didn't just didn't seem oh, worth it or just because it didn't do anything. Yeah, Colin and um, even um, uh, Christian were mentioning how there was that feeling of being powerless, right? Because you couldn't. Is that kind of like how you were feeling as well? Yeah, it's like as much as you wanted to help your own brother out, even if it'll harm you, just you just couldn't do it. Like it went to a point where like we were about to fight each other to stop each other from going to the water, even though we all wanted to go in. It's like you just sit there and just watch everything bad happen.
Tell me about, I guess, uh, Xavier and the relationship that you guys uh, shared with him and the type of person uh, that he was. Maybe just a fond memory um, that you have of him. Yeah, Xavier was a very happy person, you know. He always like lightened the mood of everybody's day. And he, he was like one of the few people in our class that would talk to everybody. He wasn't like shy to be around anybody or anyone or even especially a camera. He was what? a jokester. He was a jokester? What were some of the things he did? He tried to like size up the big people <laughs> for someone who was like small in stature. He'd always just crack jokes for everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you uh, remember most about Xavier? Mm, I guess like the after school activities with him. What kind of after school activities was he involved in? Well, we would like have sleepovers, play 2K. Play what? Uh, Play what? I'm sorry. Xbox. Just sitting next to him in history class with Key and him cracking jokes about stuff like Fortnite, him and Jimmy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my best friend. I was like uh, at Tim's house when I first met him. We were playing basketball and he was trying to post up on me and then I just stuffed him and he was saying, Why are you picking on the little guy? friendship uh, that you and Xavier shared. You guys are, were close friends. Tell me about your friendship. Uh, Things you guys usually do. He was like my friend that always, like always, he would always be there if no one was there. Or like, like he would always, uh, if no one could do anything, he would, he would always be there. Mm -hmm. What do you mean like you'd go, be there as in going out? Or be there? Yeah, I would, like every time he would just be there. Tell me about some of the things you guys uh, used to do. Just like we go and like uh, we just get together at our friends' houses, just just play like any any game. The jokes, him always making us laugh because he would do like the funniest things in class, like saying s s weird things at the wrong time and stuff from the teachers there and stuff. It was funny. Basically, we were like, so when we were hiking, when we couldn't uh, get out, we were basically stranded. We had nothing to do. We had to just set up, sit on a riverside for an hour. It's Project Xbox. It's like, um, so we're working with the local fire department with these um, these boxes that was built with like survival kits. Like, um, I think there's like a mirror to shine on coming helicopters looking for you and anywhere, and like uh, blankets. I got one blanket. Um, a tent, like a water filtration. In this tragedy, you guys are doing something positive. Yes. Right? And you're helping other people who could potentially save another life. Um, tell me, you know, about how that makes you feel to know that you're, you're turning something into something very tragic into something positive. It makes me feel good that it may save someone else's life so this doesn't happen to someone else. And uh, I hope it can um, bring something positive out of this. I think it just feels like our way of remembering Xavier and making sure that no one else has to go through what we went through. And if so, we're trying to help 
as much as possible. We just don't want this to repeat, repeat again, and especially onto someone, because it's this is really, it's really hard, and we just want to like, <clears throat> just like let people know that hikings are very difficult, and you should really take it seriously. Why is this important to you? Doing this, being a part of the PSA, and and spreading awareness about hiking safety. How much does this mean to you? Mm, just being able to, just being able to help someone that. Just like how we lost a friend, so it wouldn't happen to anyone else. We just want to continue as long as we can to keep our friends, our friend alive, and our for us, it's a way of him of it's a way for us to keep him alive. So we're trying to make it as, as much as we can, as diverse how many boxes we need. So because all of these events you hear in, in the news, and you never think it'll happen to you. Then it happens to you, and then you're sitting there like, what could have we done? What could have been done to like anything? We're really, really honored um, that the uh, boys, you know, still remember him, and they're keeping him dear to their hearts. And uh, it is kind of going to be difficult, especially we know that. Uh, a lot of his uh, milestones is coming up, like his 16th birthday uh, at the end of this year and um, graduation. We were so looking forward to his graduation next year. And um, to know that the boys has been, my son had actually been, has touched a lot of these boys and the, the fellowship that the boys have is so immense that I'm so grateful that my son had decided to go to this school. A lot of the, whatever the boys have mentioned is actually to the T. Um, the, another key factor that my son really has at, at, at was the, the willingness to protect others as well. And um, a lot of this came up uh, during the rosaries and um, even when we were reading the cards where parents were reaching out to us and saying that it, we found out that your son had stepped up to protect our daughter from being bullied. We, you know, your son stepped up to protect our son from being bullied, although they were a lot bigger than he was, you know, and uh, it really touched us because that's uh, how we brought him up. And the, I guess it, what, you know, the takeaway here is uh, that I want everybody else to remember him is he's like a very, also very, not only is he funny and stuff like that, but he's also very caring, you know. He's like, a, you know what, how do we call him? He's, a, he's small but mighty, you know. Yeah, so he, he, we do miss him a lot and stuff like that. And, you know, hope, we hope that we have more, chan more time with him. I feel like this has like, brought our class closer together because we realize how how quick everything can change. So we gotta hold on to each other. So I'll be sure. Well, you guys seem like a pretty close group. <laughs> Maybe one thing we learned from it too is like after you say goodbye to your brother, you kind of say I love you, just because you don't know. Take like, something that we've all been doing. Mm -hmm. Like since Xavier, we, like you may find it silly when you hear it, like boys saying I love you, but it's like it's a true feeling in our heart that every time you see someone, you gotta say I love you. It's like the unspoken truth of it all.